How's it going, everyone? This is Trying Our Connor, and you are about to watch another Wi Fi battle video. If you enjoy this Wi Fi battle, be sure to give me a like and subscribe. I appreciate it. So, this Wi Fi battle is a match between myself and Ruins Way again. I know we've been posting, or I've been posting a lot of matches against him. It's just, we're epic rivals. Who wouldn't post all their awesome matches? Because every battle is, you know, different. Every battle is intense because we're rivals. And yeah, just, it's, it's awesome. Now, uh, this particular match that you're looking at here is a water up. Yeah, that's right, a runner-up to the match that I posted on Hidden Abilities, which is a, a small community that I'm in with a couple of people where we, we post content on Twitter and YouTube. I'm in charge of the YouTube portion where I post Wi-Fi battles, and I also do some giveaways as well on Twitter. So you can go check out the other match with the same team size in this video after you're done watching this one. So, uh, starting off the match here, my opponent has a Mega Metagross. I have Blitz. Blitz the Scarf Garmanica. I go with a U turn here, which I guess that is a little bit over predicting because I don't know if my opponent knew that I was. Scarfed, because most most Darmanican now are scarfed, but I guess he didn't know that. So basically, what happens is that my Regis Seal gets to go in in case an earthquake. That's not really something I would do, but that's just what happened there. <laughs> um, so going that okay, I can just go into cross list, which I probably should have done that initially. And to dodge that earthquake, we do. So that lovely Tate is going to save us. I thought that a flamethrower would take out the Mega Mega Grass. But I come out real short. He went for a Meteor Mash, which is not very effective. But it does do a lot of damage. So I am a little bit surprised by that. I'm going to continue going for a flamethrower just to keep him honest there. Uh, he could have uh, switched into bigger speed, which he did. So it would be more beneficial to just continue going for a flamethrower the way I did. Now, unfortunately for me, yeah, I do predict the return or takedown in this case. Uh, but, you know, bigger speed is faster than Registeel. So, I mean, I I guess I did play with Really poorly with Regis Steel here. Uh, I was going to get my stealth off if I had the chance, but I didn't get a chance to do that, so gosh darn it. But that's okay, we can go into Eric here. Eric, the Kong Kelder. Now, Kong Kelder is a Guts variant, which has Drain Punch, Mock Punch, which you see here, and then uh, Stone Edge and Payback, I believe. I might have to double check, but that's the majority of the set. Now, here's Bikini. Now, Bikini, uh, I wanted to see if he's going to predict a switch in to something else. So, we're going to go into protecting our con holder. Wow, that is such a great sentence. But, uh, he goes for Psychic. I'm like, okay, I don't really have a good answer for Bikini on this team. I guess I do have Garchomp and Dragonite on this team. Double Dragons for the win. Uh, but they, they can't really take a Psychic on their way in. So I guess it's, good, it's a good idea to just sacrifice Kong Helder. That way I can have a free switch into my Shark Bite here. Shark Bite is of course my Mega Garchomp as my opponent brings in his own Mega, which is Mega Mega Cross. But I go for a rock slide, which at that range, why not, right? I mean, it will take out Mega Mega Megagross. Well, wow. it's a tongue twister. Uh, mega Megagross. Yeah. Uh, so we take him out. Great. Now, unfortunately, Gorgeist, Jackie. Jackie is going to come in here and just be like, hey, why don't you be 
reach Sega, because that's what's going to happen. You're going to see just how this battle and the hidden abilities battle that you're going to probably see after this video. Uh, you're going to see just how epic this score, guys, is. Like, seriously, I, I've never been trolled by a Gorgeist that much before, because it's going to help out Flygon here, which cannot really take a Furblix, but with the Leech Seed in effect right here, he's going to be getting a lot of HP, because my Garmanican has a lot of HP, because I invested in a lot of HP. Okay then. And you know what, Vicky as well, I this thing cannot take a fair place either, which I was kind of surprised about. Yeah, that does okay damage, but, you know, it's it's amounts of damage that the king cannot take. But with the Leech Seed recovery, he's going to be taking a, a lot of more fair places. So, you know what I decided to do? I'm going to just leave in Darman I can to put that Vikini in a range where my Garchomp and my uh, my Dragonite, if I have to use him, can revenge kill with an extreme speed on Dragonite this set. Because Dragonite has uh, extreme speed on that. Uh, wow. I could have worded that better, but you know, that's me and my weird commentary. But it's okay, so Garchomp is going to seal the deal with Vikini, as uh, he's very prone in kicking things out already, uh, from the Hidden Abilities battle, which you'll see. And, uh, so we take out Vikini, that's great. Now at that range, you know, Jackie has, has a lot of HP, so I was like, you know, let's see how much that will do. And that outrage did not do a lot of damage, I mean, it did a lot of damage, but I was expecting it to one hit KO, because I, in speed form, Gorgas isn't really bulky, as I'm trying to say, uh, but that's fine, whatever. Uh, now, unfortunately, since I am a Mega, I cannot carry a Lumberry, which means I cannot snap out of confusion, so we do hit ourselves in confusion, because why not, right? It's part of the game, it's Pokemon, you, you get hurt by confusion when you really don't want to get hit by confusion. And then the Leech Seed and Shadow Seek is going to take me out. So you know what I'm talking about with Jackie? There you go. That's just the start of Jackie and his awesome willpower and his awesome strategy. So here's Dragonite. Like I said, this is a Dragon Dance Extreme Speed set. Uh, it doesn't have Fire Punch my other Dragonite, Draco, has Fire Punch, but this one is the Dragonite from the event, and uh, it has extreme speed, but I don't really want to use that because Gorgeist is a ghost type. Uh, so, knowing that he's going to leech seed me again, I went for a Dragon Dance. And that is going to pretty much seal the deal because, I mean, I don't think he has anything faster. Seeing that he had Shadow Sneak as a priority move, that's pretty much it. So we take out Jackie, and that is pretty much the game, because he all, all he has left is Clawister Burst. And Clawister can't really take a plus one outrage. Yeah, Clawister is bulky. It can take a lot of hits, but not to a Dragonite's outrage, obviously. And then his last Pokemon is Flygon, who isn't Scarfed. But if he was Scarfed, I would I'll speed anyway, because I boosted up my speed as well as attack. So we're going to beat our rival by a nice margin there. 3 0, I think. And there you go, we have a Lumberry for Dragon Knight. As a little treat to the end of the victory there of the match. Okay, so that's the match. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and make sure you go check out my uh, hidden abilities upload. It will be in the description of this YouTube video. Wow, I'm getting worried out. Uh, so I'm going to go now. I feel pretty tired. I should probably go. Yeah. But if you enjoy this Wi-Fi bell, be sure to give me a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time, everyone.